Hello there, everybody. Just gonna give you a quick little tour of my half bath decorated for Christmas. I'm just doing a touch of Christmas, so I'm not going absolutely insane in here. It's a very tiny bathroom. If I can spin you around, it is just a little mirror here, little pedestal sink, and I don't really have much on the walls in here. I just felt like I wanted to make this more of the focal point. A little chandelier. And obviously the toilet, we don't need to see that. So I'll start right here. Little bottle brushes and little uh, vintage mercury glass ornaments. The bottle brushes are not vintage. They are from, I think, Hobby Lobby last year. But everything here, um, the oil lamps do stay here all year and I just decorate for the seasons. So a little bit more of my mercury glass ornaments and all. Um, this is an Italian little mirror that's vintage, a little vintage embroidered bird on a gold frame. It's a little crooked. Vintage doilies some more vintage oil lamps, mainly from Hong Kong, a vintage uh, mirror tray, some ironstone cream crocs or whatever you want to call them. These are, they were all the rage. <clears throat> Super well-made ironstone. Um, and all the little greenery, I just pulled apart a pick from Hobby Lobby and just tucked them in to create kind of like a little garland and more of my, here I am again. You always see my reflection. Someday you'll see me, I guess. But yeah, these, uh, these prints are my newest find here on the shelves. Um, when I don't have it decorated like this, I just have some uh, baby's breath, you know, things that are just intermingled in the seasons. And that is a little focal point in this bathroom. If we swing around here, I do have some Italian mirrors that I like to collect. I do like my mirrors. You guys, if you've seen my previous videos and home tours, I do have a big mirrored wall going up the side of my uh, steps. But I love these, they're so pretty. The detail is just so pretty, right? So yeah, this is just a little quick, if you wanna call it room tour <laughs> of my little half bath. So welcome to part two of this little video on how to make rust on a lantern. So here is my Hobby Lobby 50% off lantern that I'm just gonna give a really quick coat of Krylon rose gold copper spray. Uh, it's not a necessary part of this, but I'm deciding to do it because I would like the interior to be copper since these are going in my kitchen and I do have copper as a main metal in my kitchen. So I'm gonna give this one quick coat, let it dry, and then we'll move to actually rusting this lantern. Okay, so here we are. Lantern is like literally rough coat painting. It's nothing fancy at all. So the things you're gonna need, excuse my reach. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Um, is this Finnabar Rust 
uh, effect paste. So it's essentially three colors. I get green, brown, and orange. Um, it comes in a three pack. It's pretty awesome actually. I mean, I think it was like 20 bucks. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it if I can um, down below in case anyone's interested in doing this. Uh, but really simple. And generally, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I just start with the darkest color and then I move to green for the patina. And then lastly, I'll do the rusty color. And if I want, I'll go back and add in some copper highlights if I desire. Guys, a simple chip brush, two bucks, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever you wanna buy a chip brush. It doesn't have to be fancy. This one's actually used. I don't care. I want it to be kind of rough and uh, just so that I'm going to stipple. Um, and stippling is just simply patting, just like this. That's all I'm going to do to create this effect. Very simple. This already comes with like the sandy texture, so it gives you that finish. Very simple. Just dipping a little bit, you get the brush kind of wet, and then adjust this so you can see. I don't mind the sound, it's kind of annoying. I'm trying to hold this so you can see what I'm doing. But do you see just the stipple effect? Maybe I could turn down this whole light. Well, let's see. What you want to do is leave out some space because if you want your base color to come through, you don't want to have 100% coverage. So just think about like how much you want the texture or the rust look to come through. I'm going to leave some so that you can still see the copper coming through. And remember, this is just the first coat. I'm going to do this all over and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is with just the brown on, okay? <clears throat> and just remember, the more texture you want, you would apply like a heavier amount of the paint. So you'll see in sections I did a little bit heavier, so you see that texture, right? That's what we did. So I just literally stippled it all over, no rhyme or reason, just kind of thinking, how textured I'd want it and how it would rust. And now I'm gonna move to the green. So this is like the patina color part. So, and I don't even switch brushes. I'm just dipping right into the green. Take a little bit at a time. This chip brush is literally falling apart on me, but that's why they're cheap. And with the green, I try to just do it very sparingly all over. Kind of thinking like, where would it rust? Where would you see patina on something that had been maybe left outside? But you see it's starting to come to life now. It's starting to get that rusted look. Just very, I do this, like I said, I do this color very sparingly. So I'm gonna continue that all over the piece and then I'll be back. Okay, so once again, just layered some green over this. Um, and again, if you get through all three colors and you decide, hey, I want a little bit more, you just go back and, and re, re layer, re blend. You can see I kind of just did it very random. I may change my mind, I may add a little bit more, but we'll see. So now I'm going to move to the rust. And I mainly just, the rust is like the highlight or like more of like what the rust would look like. So um, let's go into that. Same difference or same procedure, same difference. What am I saying? Dip it in. And now wherever I want to just throw a little bit of the highlight. See if it's creating that rust again. You just want to put it on sparingly at first and you can always add it's harder to take away than it is to add so 
this is kind of annoying when I'm like hitting this, it like wobbles. That's why I'm not filming the whole thing, sparing you that annoyance. And so I'll be back. Okay, so for the most part, this is done. What I'm gonna do is let this dry, see if I wanna add anything more, any more layers. But tell you the truth, this looks just right to me. I don't want too much green. I don't wanna cover up too much of the copper. So I'm pretty satisfied. And if I wasn't, I would just go back and layer and blend some more. Um, and you know, sometimes you have to apply a little bit of pressure to kind of break up the gritty texture. Um, don't be afraid to push and pounce really, you know, quite hard. Um, if you don't want it as gritty as this, you don't have to. You can just do a little bit of less or you can take a light, like a very fine grit sandpaper after and sand it off. Um, but I would definitely seal it because you just, it, it still has a texture and it may drop some of the grit where you don't want it. But so I'm gonna just do that and I'm debating whether or not I wanna put the glass panes back in because I kind of like it. If you see over here, don't mind. Um, I kind of like how I have this one set up here. Let's see if I can get some light here. Um, with the greenery flowing out of it. So, and if I didn't do that, I could just put the glass panes back in and then just maybe fill it with some Christmas filler or seasonal filler. Okay guys, so this is the final product. Actually, I lied because I haven't put the panes back in, the glass panes back in, and I didn't top coat it yet. I'm letting it dry, but I wanted to see it in place and I'm really loving them. Don't mind my mess. This is the first one I did. I might go back and put a little bit more of the rust paste on, but for right now, I'm really loving it. What do you think, guys? Should I keep the panes out or put them in? I'm really glad that you guys stuck around for those of you that did to see the final product. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comments. Please like, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you again. Thanks so much for watching.